What's up guys, Nick here from Air 12 Gaming, back in Forza Motorsport 5 with some more la 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 let's play episode 26, I think. Hope that's right. Anyways, what we're doing is I did promise that we would go and vote on a vintage car and that I'd do some races with it. Well, I'm actually going to extend that vote for another week. So I'll have the link in the description for what cars you guys can vote on because I did want to do a vintage race series thing uh, in this series. Anyways, if you guys would be so kind to go and vote, uh, I'll put a link in the description to where you can actually vote. And then I believe there are four cars there uh, and you guys can vote on which one that I'm going to buy. Anyways, you can go and do that and it's going to be pretty cool. Anyways, that's enough of that. Uh, what we're going to do today is I actually want to use uh, my little GT3 I built. Some of you guys saw it in uh, Monday's video, the Fly Like an Eagle, and I believe it's an S-Class. I don't know how good it is, but uh, we'll, we'll find out. I, I've, I've never really raced it. I've just sort of built it, and then it was a thing. Yeah, so it's S-Class. All right, perfect. So let's get this thing going on a track. Let's go Le Mans. Why not? All righty, let's go. Got my GT3. This should be pretty... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, it's fast. Well, it's faster than them. And it looks like much faster than all of these people. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hey, stay away from me. Get out of here, mister. Anyways, I got a list of topics to talk. Thank you. Th Thank you. Guys. There's something wrong with the car. It sounds like it might explode. Oh, mother well, I guess Porsche did the right thing by recalling all of those. Anyways, that means I'm out of a car, which means I need to buy a new one. That is a good thing, though, because I was actually... I, I did actually have my eye on something that I was i was eyeing at a little bit uh, over this past week. And it is a very expensive car. I, I really don't think it's a really good car. But it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Oh, I don't know what it is about it. It's just, oh my god. It's so cool. I really don't know what it is about this thing, but I like it. I really, really like it. So see the stock paint on this, actually. I sort of want like a racy, racy paint. Not like racist paint, like a race, race paint. Ayy. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to go with that. That looks pretty good. There we go. Looks good, yeah. 920,000 credits, I think? No, there's no way that's the most expensive. Is it the most expensive car I've bought? I don't think the Agrera is more than that. The Hawaii I got for free. I got the F1 cars for free. So I think this is actually... Is it the most expensive car I have? I think it is. So anyways, this is B-Class, and it's already tuned up for us it's at the top of b class so let's just see what we can let's just actually change that four gears only okay i guess that's how they did it back in the day i've noticed that with some, a lot of old cars is my stock wing adjustable it is okay um i've noticed that with a lot of uh, older cars they only have like four or five gears i'm not sure why that was standard but i guess it was i don't know i don't know about old cars that's that's something I really, really want to learn about, and it's just something I've never... Re Have I never done a B-Class rate? Okay, new intro. Here's a little test for you. A bunch of cars with all sorts of different ways of getting you from A to B quickly. Front-wheel drive. That's the way the car business prefers to make its cars. Rear-wheel drive. That's the way you and I would prefer the car business to make cars. Mid-engined and rear-wheel drive, which is the way Lamborghini makes cars, and four-wheel drive which I'm not sure is the way anyone really wants to make cars, except when it's snowy, of course, which for most of us isn't very often. Four except for me! Cars are easy and safe. If you drive too fast, they won't spin, usually. But they don't go sideways either, usually. Rear-wheel drive cars will go sideways. It's relatively simple and safe to do so without spinning, relatively. Try them all and tell me I'm wrong. I love how James May has all those, like, disclaimer things, because he knows if he doesn't put those in, there's going to be so much hate now towards him. To anyway, let's go. Spa. To spa this is going to be cool. All right, let's go. All righty, so let's get going. I got a list of topics to talk about today, 
Uh, the first one being that yesterday, you guys should have seen, I hope it went up, a live stream that I recorded over the weekend. Or did over the weekend, I just recorded it. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And that's something I want to do. Okay, this is going to be quite... Okay, Mr. Audi. That's... You're a team player, aren't you? You just spun out Mr. Mercedes. You're a lovely person. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Anyways, I did a I did a live stream over the weekend. I recorded it. Hopefully it got uploaded uh, yesterday. If it didn't, someone yell at me in the comments, so I do it now. <laughs> um, when I'm reading the comments in these. Um, but it, 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 it should have gone up. And it was a lot of fun to do. And that's actually something I want to do a hell of a lot more is do more live streams for you guys. Why are you breaking in a straight line? You Audis are a bunch of... I drive an Audi. Well... Yeah. <laughs> that got awkward quickly. What are you doing? What are you doing? Seriously? Don't come this way! Thank you, God damn it! Oh my god, thank you. Why is everyone so angry today? Holy crap! Stop it! What's the issue with everyone? Oh my god. God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, Live stream stuff went up over the weekend, and um, yeah, that's something I want to do a hell of a lot more of. Hopefully this weekend, I will be doing another live stream, which should be a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, going to be similar to the last one. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to host it with some of my friends uh, again and do some more top tier challenges for you guys, because uh, I know that's what you guys like to see in uh, live streams. They're a little bit harder to actually put on YouTube, but I, I may do them. I don't know if you if you guys want to see them. Check out the live stream I posted yesterday. Hopefully it's up. And um, and if you enjoyed that, let me know in the comments of that video saying that you want to see more of those style of challenges. Uh, because when, when myself and my buddies are just playing, that's what we're doing, right? We're just having some fun doing like Top Gear style challenges. And that's what we've done for maybe ever since we got the game. Uh, way back in Forza 3. That's something we've always done. We've always, always just had our own like car preferences and we'd always choose our own cars i still remember back in the day we'd be at school and our car for some reason subscribed to i think it was car and driver uh the magazine and there was another magazine they subscribed to and then every every month uh the, like i think it was the first of every month we'd get the new magazines in and then we'd always sit down uh and find the find the challenges uh in the magazines and then we'd all choose our favorite car and have arguments why that was our favorite car and stuff like that it was yeah Oh, I don't know why I told you about that, but anyways, that's what we've been doing. Uh, so expect some more Top Gear challenges. Uh, that's the main thing um, on live stream. So if you're not already following me on Twitch, you should go do that. Uh, so you get a notification as soon as I'm going live and such. If you aren't following me on Twitter or anything like that, which you should be, by the way, because I tweet some good, pretty good stuff. I've been doing a lot of car spotting recently uh, because the snow, because Canada, it's all going away a little bit. So we, we do get to see a couple... A couple few nicer cars. A couple more nicer cars. That was good English. Uh, but we do get to see some nicer cars uh, now that it's the snow is starting to melt. Thank you. Um, but yeah, it uh, we're we're starting to see some nicer cars, so I get to see some nice cars. Take some pictures of them. Get to share them with you guys, which is pretty cool. Uh, so far this year, I've seen a Ford Raptor, which was pretty awesome in the middle of the city. Never seen one of those in the middle of the city before. Saw them out in the country, but never here. Um, what else did I see? I spotted a X5M. I don't know if I shared the pictures of that yet, but I did. I spotted... What else did I spot? A uh, Charger SRT8. That was pretty awesome. And a GTR in the snow. That thing was cool. And I don't remember if I sh took pictures of a G-Class that I spotted. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't, because it was on the opposite side of the road and didn't want to be bothered to walk over there. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. But I did spot a G-Class. So... I'm doing some car spots, and I'm sharing them on Facebook and Twitter and stuff, which is cool. Anyways, enough of that. Enough of that. Let's get back to my get back to my topic list. What else do I have to talk about? Uh, what else? Oh yeah, vote results. Shit, 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 shit. This is on purpose. I'm not a shitty driver. God damn it! I'm. 
Yeah, there's no one else on the track. There's no one else on the track. No one else saw that. No one else saw that. You didn't see that. Don't hit me! <laughs> God damn it. I'm leaving that in. I'm not even gonna cut that out. I would usually cut that out, but I'm not going to. Because I'm a pro, and I'm gonna probably forget anyways. Anyways. What was the next thing I had on my list? Wait, wait, wait. Get off the corners. That was That went well last time. Mr. Ferrari running wide. All right, quick, quick little peek. We have, oh, forums, forums. Uh, when you go, oh, so if you want to go vote on a car, um, what, what vintage car I should buy, that will take you to a forum. And that forum is my forum, which is pretty awesome. And huge props to you guys uh, from last week's episode to actually bringing that up by over 100 members in one week. We went from 500 members to around 600 and some which is awesome. So huge props to all of you guys who signed up and, and took the time to do that uh, because that's just another way for me to interact with you guys. And it's a lot easier than comments and stuff uh, because it's I can write as much as I want and stuff like that. And I can make it as organized as I want and stuff like that. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole lot easier. So I like talking to you guys on there. It's, uh, it's really, really easy. Sometimes I'll go in the comments and respond to all you guys, but it's kind of complicated. It's kind of hard and gets really, really disorganized, especially in my email when I get thousands and thousands of emails and they just get completely messed up and then I lose all, all train of what I was thinking when I was writing the comments. But anyways, if you want to talk to me, go on the forums because <laughs> that's the easiest place and it's the most organized, which is good. Anyways, what do we have to do next? Hopefully I level up. I need to start paying off this car, all 900 grand of it. Oh my God. God damn. All right, we got a 9,000 credits. Yeah, that's gonna... Good way forward, lads. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're halfway to leveling up. God damn it. Anyways, next thing I need to talk about was... Actually, we'll just wait for the next race. Next race, go! All righty, let's get her going. Second race, Prague. Let's go. This car is actually pretty good. I wasn't expecting this to be that, that, uh, that quick. But I can keep up with all these Audis and BMWs with July braking when going in a straight line. God damn. <laughs> all right. Anyways, next thing on my topic list is Minecraft. Some of you guys know that I'm working on a Minecraft series. Some of you guys are very bored of me talking about this. But I am working on a Minecraft series or Minecraft server, I should say. And uh, I have a launch date that I would like to reach. And that is being April 1st. I would like to get my server out for March or April 1st for you guys. Hopefully that can happen. Right now we have all our mods set out, all our admins set out and stuff like that. We know where we're going to host from. We have all our plugins and that is what we are currently testing right now. Uh, we are testing all our plugins and mods or like modifications to the actual game, not like people mods. Uh, we're testing out all our modifications, uh, making sure they can all work together and such. Um, and then once we've done that, we will get in there and start building a, a spawn and, and such and making sure everything works fancy and making sure everything uh, goes, goes well uh, and doesn't break when I launch it. And then after that, we should be good to launch for you guys. So hopefully sometime around April 1st, but we will see. Um, I, I'm really, really pumped uh, to start work on that. I, I do want to do some Minecraft videos as well. And a lot of that is going to be on that server. So... That means, winky face, you, you guys may be in a lot more of my videos um, than which should be pretty fun. Should be a lot of fun, actually. Because uh, I do have some some challenges in mind for Minecraft, and that should be so much fun. Especially when I can do it with all of you guys. Uh, and that should, that should just be really, really awesome. I feel like that's the best way to actually connect with your audience is just play with them. Do what you would normally do with them. That's the that's awesome. Like I do my community community days on Xbox, but I've been lacking of the PC guys a little uh, for ever basically, and I, I do want to start doing some of that. Um, and you guys have seen that with more increased PC videos. I do want to start some PC gaming. Um, I've been doing a little bit so far, and I'm just growing that more and more, which I'm liking. It gives me more range of games and stuff like that. Anyways, enough of that stuff. What else do I have on my topic list? I have new... Oh, new game! How convenient! I have new games on my topic list. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, PC games. I'm not going to say what PC games I'm playing, but I am recording one with my brother, hopefully. Um, when you see this, I was recording it yesterday. Hopefully that happened. I'm recording this on Monday, in case you were wondering. Oh, 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 
<laughs> I'm recording this on Monday, and I don't really know what came out yet, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, but I should be recording that on Tuesday and then uploading it on Thursday. Hopefully that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyways, that should be fun. I'm going to play a game with him. And yeah, he's going to start his channel up soon, which should be pretty cool. Uh, but he actually needs a YouTube username. So he's he's doing all that stuff and he's going to make a channel and stuff like that. Um, and then once he does, I'll tell you his, his username and stuff like that. Anyways, 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 anyways. What else do I have to talk about? Oh, if you're playing the anyway, if you're playing the AR12 drinking game, if you didn't know, that's the thing. AR12 drinking game. Anytime I say anyways, you have to take a drink, and anytime I make a Top Gear reference, you have to take a drink, and a Rooster Teeth reference, you have to take a drink, and I think that's about it. It's a growing game. It's a growing game. Anyways, what is next on my topic list? GTA 5. Oh, GTA 5 glitches. Uh, those are coming back uh, because GTA 5 getting a new what's it called patch update thing new dlc uh and with that means new glitches and such uh for nice cars and stuff like that so i'm gonna do some of those again should be fun i know a lot of you guys do need some money uh because all your money you you either spent all your money on that freaking valentine's day car or whatever um so those are gonna be coming back and as well as duplication glitches and, and such like that uh, i'll be doing all of those again anyways oh god damn it god damn it hey i'm at the end of the race nice so um yeah gta 5 i uh you'll see some of that sometime this week hopefully uh, maybe today you'll see it as a gta 5 glitch um as well as some business dlc stuff which should be hella fun um that has three new cars some clothes and stuff like that uh tom and i should be running through that soon so expect some of that which should be fun anyways enough of that race let's get on to the next one get our final race in and let's go Alrighty, let's go. Final race in this beast of a car. I was so not expecting this thing to be that good, but it's surprisingly controllable, and it's it's a quick car. I was, it's a good car. God damn it, Audi! <laughs> you nearly flipped. <laughs> All right. So what's the next thing on my topic list? The next thing on my top. Oh god damn it! <laughs> the next thing on my topic list. Probably shouldn't look at the other screen when I'm trying to play. Uh, that would be Formula D. So if you guys saw my video, oh my god, is that a Jag who took the Mustang out? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I can't see. Too busy! I think it was a Jag. Anyways, uh, if you guys saw my P1 video, the, the fastest P1 in the world, I think that's what I called it, um, I spoke about the possibility of me going to Formula D this summer in New Jersey. Um, so, some of you longtime AR-12 peeps know that I have a friend who has connections to drifting in real life. So there's this thing in Canada called the DMCC. I think it stands for the Canadian... Wait, no. D Drift Mania Canadian Championships. There we go. I always get it confused. I don't know why. I always do. Anyways, uh, one of my buddies who has connections there, um, he, he was part of a team there. Um, he, he, he used to do that for a couple years. Um, he's been doing this for maybe five, five, ten years, something like that. Anyways, this year, uh, they're no longer doing that because they're actually going to Formula D, which should be really, really cool. Don't know how well they'll do, but hopefully well. Um, oh, God damn it. <laughs> um, but yeah, my, my buddy is has a connection there. Um, he's good friends with the actual... Shit. He's good friends with the actual driver. Um, but yeah, it should be, should be really cool. Um, especially he, he was speaking to me about it. He's, uh, he said I could come down, uh, with them, um, and stay with them and stuff. All I need to do is make sure it fits within my schedule. Um, I believe it's in January or July. I forget. I haven't looked it up yet, but I believe that's when it is for New Jersey. Um, but I just got to make sure it works with my schedule and such, uh, to make sure I'm not going away anywhere or anything like that. Uh, because I also do want to go to RTX, which I've been speaking about a little um, over the past couple weeks. Uh, so maybe that will happen. We'll see. That should be pretty fun. If it does, I'm going to... I don't know if I could actually film the Formula D, because that's copyrighted and stuff. But I could film, like, behind the scenes and stuff. Which would be really cool. That would be, I, I feel like that would be even cooler than the actual drifting. Anyways, um, if that happens, I will let you guys know. If it doesn't happen, I will also let you guys know. So something will happen probably 
Um, but either way, it's going to be fun. Um, if that doesn't happen, I'm still going to have some awesome, awesome stuff over the summer. Uh, because I will be going to the other thing, DMCC, over the summer with uh, a fellow YouTuber, hopefully. Um, so hopefully that happens as well. Uh, you guys may know, may know Arrow. Uh, we may be going together to the DMCC here in Montreal, which should be pretty fun. Anyways, that's enough of that. All right, get on the straight, and then I'm going to look at my top of list again. See what else we got to do. Next thing. Oh, Top Gear. The world's greatest Top Gear episode, sort of, was kind of let down in the fact that the McLaren didn't race the P1 yet. I was anticipating this for so freaking long. I've been talking about this challenge for maybe three or four weeks now. Because I need my P1 to win. And... Jeremy's not going to change his name to Jennifer. <laughs> but um, other than that, amazing episode recently. If you don't want to top your spoilers, put a little skip thing. If I remember, I probably won't. But there's, I'm not going to say any spoilers. Um, I'm just going to say like what the general episode was about. So they started out with the episode doing the hatchback reviews. That's freaking awesome. You guys know I love hatchbacks. Golf GTI, freaking awesome. It is one of my favorite cars. Uh, some of you guys know my future car, or my first car. I was hoping it to be a Subaru. If that doesn't happen, Golf or Pickup. Those are my three, I think. Unless something crazy happens. Like, I get a million views a day, then I'm getting something cool. Really cool. <laughs> then I'd probably get a freaking jacked up, uh, jacked up pickup truck, which would be freaking awesome. Anyways, that's done with that. Uh, what else did you want to talk about? Tested some bikes, or made films for bikes. That was awesome. And also, most importantly, Aaron freaking Paul. If you don't know who Aaron Paul is, you need to not go outside. You need to watch Breaking Bad a little bit, because yeah, bitch. <laughs> uh, so if you don't know who Break or who who Aaron Paul is, go watch Breaking Bad. Super awesome, awesome show uh, that he was on uh, for the past four or five years, actually. Huge, huge show recently. Recently just wrapped up. Anyways, he's in the Need for Speed movie. And that should be pretty cool. That's happening next week, actually. It's actually a week from today, I think, when you guys see this. So that should be pretty fun, seeing some of that. Anyways, I'll talk about the Need for Speed movie a little bit next week. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be able to see it by the time the next Let's Play comes out. If I don't, I'll talk about the one after that. Anyways, that is enough of that, guys. Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this Let's Play episode 26. If you have, click that subscribe button down below. For more videos like this in your subscription box also don't forget to click that like button i was gonna say comment but i have nothing for you to comment about or any questions and stuff so oh go vote go vote on what vintage car i should get there you go i'll put the link in the description in case you need that anyways guys thank you again very very much for watching and i will see you in the next one is we are doing the credit grind method on the Indianapolis 500. If you don't know what the credit grind method is, it's pretty much the best way to earn money in Forza 5. So we were doing it, myself and a couple buddies. If you don't know what the credit grind method is, I'll put a link in the description below. You can check it out for yourself. What we were doing is we're using the Indy cars and my buddy sp span out in front of me and I jumped over his car and used it as a ramp. Now that got us thinking, can you use the Indy car as a ramp? And it turns out you can.